Today's video is going to be a continuation of last Sunday's video about San Francisco's downtown apocalypse. So if you want to see that, it's linked below. The great thing about the downtown area of San Francisco, now being completely deserted, is one can pick up office space for pennies on the dollar. San Francisco has an empty office problem. There is 27.1 million square feet of empty office space in the city. And to put that into perspective, there are nearly 20 Salesforce towers worth of vacant office space in the city. We're not in any sort of business that requires an office, so uh, we made one up. It's fun. It's fun to have an office to, uh, to, I don't know, share some ideas in. Yeah, and we got plenty of ideas. Yeah. Pinelands Marketing is here to solve the dilemma of one of the biggest brands in our country. Anheuser-Busch stock is down more than 20% after backlash from its Bud Light partnership with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney. To make sure that we maintain some of Bud Light's recent values, Ashley! We've got Ashley, AKA Mission District Daisy. Uh, Daisy the sucker. Our favorite trans. The client wants this operation kept a little bit quiet. Which explains the cash, but I hope you guys don't mind cash. Pilots Marketing, we are a newer firm. We can throw out whatever crazy ideas, have our pitch sessions descend into complete madness. And the big brands, their hands are clean. Our client, uh, you could say they shat the bed on their last campaign. Yeah, they're struggling right now. You know, the disaster. Is it blood light? Is that confidential? Um, well, can we Ding, 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 ding. Good, uh, good guess, man. It is Bud Light. This was the campaign. So, I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, wow. but... So, this was some of the fallout. Wow. Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch. Have a terrific day. So, yeah. That's not good for our client's brand. Sales are down upwards of 52%. People are not buying. They are literally giving away cases of beer. It's, it's insane. Daisy, do you mind dumping out the pitcher? Dump the pitcher out into the glasses. Let's refill it with the sparkling elixir known as Bud Light. Bud Light. Are you uh, unable to take orders at this moment? Sorry, or? what did you say? Ashley, you, you're gonna empty that out uh, and you're gonna fill it up with Bud Lights. No, 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 this, this jug right here, this. Ashley. How many Bud Lights? Please focus. Ashley, is it a two, three? Three. Ecstasy, how many ecstasy pill day is it? Um, half. She loves ecstasy. Okay. Yes, she does, she's a big fan. <laughs> Bud Light's consumed mainly by, by the Republicans. We need to do damage control to the tune of the most masculine f ad the American beer drinking public has ever seen. Has ever seen. The VPs at Bud Light saw how viral this Kid Rock rebuttal went. Mm -hmm. And what does it have in it? Masculinity, guns, profanity. And a guy that clearly, you know, gets a lot of Masculinity, guns, gets Right. Interesting. It's a terrible depiction of, of a <laughs> okay, I, this is. Did she have is this syphilis? High school anatomy? Did is she have second? syphilis? Possibly. You know, he's drowning. Well, he barely said anything. That thing uh -huh. was a couple seconds. It probably took five minutes to shoot. It right. cost nothing. And cost nothing. We are going for something new, something exciting, well, something. Like the God damn it, the don't f interrupt me. You interrupted my man's when he's on a f roll. Pushing the envelope is the key. So what do you think about our latest idea, which is we're just gonna have straight straight with, with Bud Light cans as like the backdrop. People drinking Bud Lights while they're the whole nine. I think that could be cool. Celebrities in your world that you think could fit the bill. I mean, the first one to come to mind would be Arnold Schwarzenegger because he's an easygoing guy. You know what I mean? He is. He, do, he was me too. He did grow up about twelve women. Twelve which, women. That's more masculinity, in fact. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Also, Arnold had the controversy with the maid. A lot of the drinkers of Budweiser, Bud Light, Latino, yeah. they're gonna like that he isn't too good to knock up a forty-five-year-old overweight house cleaner. Correct. Come up with something that is edgy, 
that is new that's going to attract eyes. So I'm, I'm Don't serious. Go one extreme with that ex. Wait, yeah, we're going, like, wait, wait, Siobhan, Siobhan, before you say that, I love what you're saying. I'm seeing something coming through. We need a woman's perspective, Daisy. Yeah. Two women's perspective. To the whiteboard. Give me a pen. Give me a pen. Give me the black pen. Here, dude. Let's go. Fucking dude. Fucking dude. Check this out. Check this out. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Can I write a name on the whiteboard, boys? Tell me what you think. Sure. OJ Simpson? Oh my goodness. Now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're what you, talking. What do you think? Honestly, what do you think? No, because you know what? OJ needs something to get back into the limelight. Like, I agree. Know, You're a San Francisco local, yes? Yeah. You ever heard of Mission District Daisy? She sucks. Mission District. Daisy the oh. And, you know, I was <laughs> at a company dinner last night, incidentally drinking a lot of Bud Lights, and I might have wound up in the Mission District behind a dumpster with Mission District Daisy. That's right, dude. That might have happened. Bud Light Pretty signed off on it, though. But, uh, look, uh, that's neither here nor there. It's between us. Why don't you tell them about the guy that we think can really change this brand? Like, uh, whatever. He might have chopped almost his, yeah. his wife's head off, but whatever. It's like, yeah, exactly. it's been a long time. She was cheating on him. Yeah, she was cheating on him, Brian. O.J. Simpson. People are remembering this guy. No, they're not. Not this what guy. Do you, what do you think? Is, the, is there I a problem with it? problem with that. People who are old enough to know who OJ is yeah. probably don't like the f guy. You'd be split on that one. They what do you know about OJ? OJ Simpson. Um, I know he was a great football player. Running right. back. USC, Buffalo See, Bills. I love that you mentioned that first. I love that he mentions that first. Okay. I love that he mentions that first. That's, this is what we need. Most what we people need. are going to see football player. Football player, not a guy that murdered all his wife and the dude that she was f Football player, actor, not a guy who got jealous, grabbed a steak knife, right. and killed a random Jewish restaurant employee. Right. Yeah. So, Siobhan, you getting the idea? When you look at that whiteboard, what do you see? Honestly? Yeah. It looks like a twisted penis. Okay. What were you going for? Um, what was he going for? I think, um, you nailed it, Siobhan. Just the publicity factor. The publicity factor. Yeah. It's like O.J. Simpson's the goddamn spokesman of Bud Light. Give him a tagline, Danny. Masculinity, guns. O.J. Simpson's tagline right now. Yeah, for, for, for Bud Light, give it to me. If I catch you with another beer, a mother better watch out. Oh, oh, and he pulls a knife out? You like that, Oliver? If I catch you with no, another beer, another mother better watch out. Not because of uh -huh. that, the whole, like, whatever you would call it, yeah. um, Murder? atrociousness of it. What if, Leandro, to get people's mind off the killing, we do the ad on the gridiron? I love it. OJ is in the backfield. Leo, BQB over here. All right. Ashley, be the center. Before it all happened and all that, I mean, right. men, men looked up to OJ. Right. You know what I mean? He, he was a sports hero. Yeah, absolutely. He was a and hero. He won the Heisman. Human nature is very forgiving. You know what I mean? It, and absolutely. people people will want to see OJ redeem himself. They yeah, can we run an ad like this for the Super Bowl? No. But where can we run it? Where can we run this ad? Spike TV. Pornhub. YouTube Premium. Hulu After Midnight. Max. Nick at Night. On pieces of paper. Stapled the telephone poles. Mission District Daisy, no, what, what are we doing here? I'm not on defense, I'm OJ. Oh, oh you're OJ. Jesus, I have to do everything myself. Right, right, right. Jesus, right. That's what I, don't I, feel, I don't feel bad touching her. Did much worse last night behind All that right. dumpster. Okay, so I'm in the backfield. Leo, be under center. Hands up there, hands up there. You know, this is, you're not shotgun, baby. No, come here. What are you doing? You want to play the quarterback? Under center, under center. Thumbs in, thumbs in, mother. All right. Leo, thumbs in. Head down a little bit lower. All Head right. down a little bit lower. All right. A little bit lower. Okay. Brian, have you ever done any time? Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, cool. See Perfect. You. What happened, right. Brian? Uh -huh. What I go in for? Yeah. Uh, DUI. Oh, DUI. Okay. Yeah. So well, you were in the drunk tank for yeah. 12 hours. Yeah. That's not doing time. I, I have six guns. DUIs. I actually oh, went to prison. Yeah, six DUIs? Yeah. I feel like yeah. I should shake this his is hand. A Bud Light. This is a Bud Light guy. Dude. Wow! Yeah. Six DUIs? Oh, yeah, what were you drinking? What were you drinking before you got your DUIs? I drink Budweiser. Yes! Oh, baby. Yes! That's 
Go. Brian! There's no words to it or anything. It's just a Bud Light can with a penis wrapped around it. Why a penis? We did run numbers on a Bud Light just being inserted into a woman's and it didn't really do well in Midwest. It scored a 36. Oh, a 36. If this were a playoff game and you didn't want to risk fumbling the football, you would actually be resting the side of your head on Daisy's lower back. Okay, well, uh, you know, this isn't a playoff game, but I can... In the ad, it's going to be. It's going to be January. It's going to be frosty. Okay. You're going to be huddling together with the center for warmth. Jesus Christ, for real? Yes, What is this? Is it a timeout? No, we're about to snap the ball. It's freezing out there. You can't feel your hands. How can you ensure the pass off is going to be successful unless you're up in there? All right, all right, all right, dude. Let's try a test right now. Brian, do you mind standing up by the whiteboard? And do you mind just saying a stream of consciousness pitch into the camera about your history, what you did in prison, what you drank before you got behind the wheel, and why people should drink Budweiser or Bud Light? Bud Light. My name is Brian, and I drink Budweiser. We don't want to score another 36. Right. That's why we've been brought in to kind of test the waters on a big dick. Okay. Wrapped octopus tentacle style around a Bud Light. Just right around it. Siobhan, if you're okay with this, we mentioned flyers, just handing out flyers with dicks on them. We wanted to hit the streets just real briefly right here in the final. Where? Where Just right here. Just where we just wanted to go down to the base of the building. We just wanted to like, you know, hand a mother flyer with a dick drawn on it. If you want to get your hips in there a little bit too, that's something. Jesus it, Christ, dude, what do you want just, right now? Sometimes it just happens with the quarterback. Dude, sometimes the quarterback is just, is just this like. This is just getting out of hand, in. dude. This is getting out of He's hand. He's just like, hips, get in there. The dude. hips, dude, I've never it's, seen that. I've never hips. seen that. I've never seen that. It's just, it's it's something I've seen on tape can you, in my can head. You, it's can playing you get in to dreams. The, get to the sometimes. goddamn f Get to the goddamn ad. All right, so then now what? And Charlie, are they close enough? Uh, they're close enough. Thank you, dude. Does that look like real January playoff football? <laughs> wrong with you? Can we get to this? Can we get to the goddamn ad, dude? Are you, are serious? you accusing me of stalling? <laughs> yes, I am, dude. Are you accusing me of stalling right now? Okay, here we go. I'm about to take the snap. It's gonna be like a Omaha. Bl dude, that's <laughs> hot. I don't even know, dude. That's so <laughs> hot. I always get my DUIs after the game. You know what, whenever I go to sports events, uh, you know what, so please drink responsibly. I've got a couple of DUIs and it took me to prison. Yeah. And in prison, uh, you know what, every hot day you could bet I was thinking about a cold Bud Light. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Brian, which game in particular did you catch a DUI after? It was just a regular, regular, season, regular season game. Who was the quarterback then, Gannon? Um, I think it was, uh, yeah, it wasn't Gannon, but it was, uh, God, man, why did it slip in my head? Well, because you got a DUI after you were up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but I mean, who's this is the kind of guerrilla marketing myself, Leo, and Daisy are known for. Hey, my man! What's up? Courtesy of Bud Light. Oh. Thank you. It's all for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is, this is what we want. This is what we want. Drink the Bud Light, dude. It's a gift. I'm just working right now, so. You can't sweep I shit with a little buzz? All right. How about this? God damn, what the f dude? Why would you just make me bend over if we're not doing, if you're just gonna be pacing around, you're, you don't have anything going on yet. Dude, dude I need realism, okay? I got a 415 appointment with Brian Peabody this afternoon. Why the f dude? So can you I'm, figure I'm it out? To th this is how I brainstorm, dude. It's a delicate process. It's art. Strike that from the record. Huh? Uh, John Jacob. Okay, dude, I'm not doing it. I'm so. thinking. I'm not, I'm not, Brian, I don't mean to get personal here, but did you get at any point when you no. were doing your time? Yeah, no, no. You're a tough guy. You wouldn't allow that to happen. Yeah, yeah. It, it would be. It would give you one of those. Uh, what is it? Sympathy points if you if you were uh, you know sexually assaulted in yeah. jail. Yeah. So if you could uh, like just maybe say like I got. Like, I got I drink Budweiser. You, you, how many interviews have you said that you were assaulted in? Like, I, I strictly, in all my interviews, say that I was, I'm a survivor. So, you know, it's just a thing. It's kind of one of those things. I don't know if I want to say I got though, but, because I never got I mean, you could have your fingers crossed behind your back. I don't know, is that going to sell? I don't think that's going to sell, though, is it? I think you'd be surprised. <laughs> Did you ever drop the soap, maybe? Bud Light is trying to come out with a new page. 
where they wrap a penis around the butt like. It's true. They want to put something out there that people will accept, that's kind of edgy, that's right. just straight to the point. Let's and see it. They would like, you know, he wear gloves as a football player. Mm -hmm. He can say mm -hmm. something along the lines of... If the glove fit, oh. I, you get this. Antron. Yeah. If the glove don't fit, you must have quit was classic. Let's hit the whiteboard for a second. If the glove don't fit, you must have quit. The immortal Johnny Cochran. Oh man, what if we could bring him back with AI? Oh. CGI. We have Johnny Cochran oh. with a whistle and a whiteboard head coach. Wow. Are you, you got a good tagline for him though? I think I got the first line for it to kind of battle what's going on, but then you got to finish it off with the second line. If the bitch be trans. My name's Ryan and I got a DUI after the Raiders game and I went to prison. I mean, I was drinking a lot of Budweiser at the game. And then in prison, I got sexually assaulted. It was a horrible thing, but I was thinking about Budweiser then too, because that's the worst <laughs> thing in the world to have happen to you. So um, if you're going to have a beer, grab a Budweiser. It's the best domestic beer on the market. Good. Hey man, that was Legend. unbelievable. That was unbelievable. Legend. That was unbelievable. This is what we're looking for. See, buddy, when we go back to Bud Light with these ideas, they go, F it. this is genius. How do you feel about that? Nah, you don't think he. Whatever you... floats your boat, man. All right, well, all right. Something. I'm going to leave one of these in here for the memory. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to make it look like no. I'm sucking on that or something? <laughs> I love it. you. Oh, wow, that is... You're an angry lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, if you only knew how much I loved... That. Oh, man. But I don't want to shove it in my face. Keep it to yourself, mother I get that, yeah. It's lower. No. It's not in your face. It's not working for me. It's behind you now. It's not in your face. It's not going to go up there either. <laughs> it's not going to go up there. If the bitch be trans, what do you think? What do you think for the second line? I'm doing it right now. I'm feeling something. Nobody look. <laughs> well, we know that, dude, but it doesn't have a very far-reaching kind of pull. So, come on. Wait, what are we going to do? If the bitch be trans, Bud Light be losing all its fans? That's not, that's not going to sell us more beers. You don't think so? If OJ saying it, I think it's selling some beers, dude. Let's do this. It's selling some beers, dude. Let's try something else. Let's start again. I like it. I love it. What do you got, Nico? Clean. Okay, so keep right. square between us here. Okay. Jeez, I don't believe you're with Bud. I want to see identification that doesn't say event staff. Well, this is just for today, I'm but... Well... Oh, yes, you guys, you guys take care of good Oh, you Third and eight, and this frigid buffalo tundra. There's no way we can throw. I'm gonna be honest, Daisy, I'm not sure we can convert. It's me, OJ. The juice. Oh boy, this is gonna be the easiest first down we've ever picked up. Omaha, 26. Alert, alert, 32 is the mic. Zed, hi. If the bitch be trans, she gonna catch these hands. The juice is loose. 